Ladies and gentlemen, Tactical Advance here, and welcome back to some more Star Citizens. Now, today we're going to have a sort of a discussion around about the uh, organisations that um, can now be created. Now, it went live yesterday. I did actually create an organisation yesterday, and I've decided actually to call it my own name. Where most people are creating organisations under, you know, random names. It is sort of based around my channel. And not only that, through experience, you're better off keeping it to something that people can easily search for. And being tactical advanced, it's a lot easier for people just going to search and search for that name rather than something else that's been created. I'm fully aware to run an organisation or a clan that it takes people. You know, I've done it in the past, like the Warframes, and it was too much to manage for one person. You know, when you get a thousand people uh, in the clan, you get new people signing up all the time, you get events, you know, it's, it's a full-time job, literally just running the actual clan, to do it properly and to keep everyone engaged. Now, I'm passionate about Star Citizens, as you know by my videos, and this time, I'm really keen to make sure I do it right this time. And the only way I'm going to get it right is for you guys to help me um, because I can't do it on my own. I can make these videos, I can give you the communication, you know, I can play with you guys, but I can't do, you know, I can't range all the vents. I'm not going to bother do everything. It's just too much for one person. So the positive side of that is I th I'm actually, the more I thought about it, the more it made sense because this gives you guys who are watching the video the opportunity not just to sort of you know, take part in the game, but to take a role within the company, you know, and enjoy it more and reap the benefits. And there is benefits. So what I've decided to do, I've opened up a job position. Now, it's an organization or well, company, so there's going to be uh, vacancies with inside the company. And the first one I've decided is going to be branding and marketing. Now, I'll tell you why I need someone doing branding and marketing. I need someone, basically, who can help me with the communication, planning events, all of that aspect that, you know, I'm going to struggle with. I'm creating the videos, telling people about the events, not a problem. Now, I've actually, if you go to the Tactical Advance um, uh, Star Citizens page, if you search for it under the uh, organizations, you'll, you'll find me in there. And if you look under manifesto, I've put in a job. And it's got a job description. I can read it for you now. Right, okay. So in, to ensure we build a successful company at the Tactical Advance Corporation, we need people. We are fully aware for us to build a successful and fun, com co fun company. We will need your help from all you space travelers who need a home. Look, first off, whether, you're, whether you want this role or whether you just want to join, you're all welcome, guys. Look, I think there's only one rule, uh, really is I would say that we don't attack unless you've been attacked. You know, there's no unprovoked attacking. Um, and I've set it up as, 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 as the mo at the moment, I've set it for exploring and basically uh, working or salvage. But that can be changed. Like I said, if you've got, you know, three hornets or you've got hornets or your friends have got hornets, there's still a role there for you. Escort missions... You can still do the dogfighting, you know, it, all I'm saying is, is that I don't really want players who are just going to attack other players, kill other players intentionally, and, you know, blow up their skate pods and just be totally, you know, reckless. We want to sort of have a little bit of a respect in the universe for being, you know, fair, fair people. I think that's the best way to word it. So, I'll continue where I left off. So, over the coming months, I will be offering... We will be offering jobs and giving you the opportunity to apply for the jobs. We are currently looking for a strong candidate who can take ownership of the branding and marketing. So the actual job description is branding and marketing. The applicant needs to have good communication skills, willing to talk on team speak, and uh, willing to star in some of the tactical uh, advanced videos. You must be welcoming to all new travelers who pass by and the rest of the community. So look, that's just... I would say that the basics of what I'm looking for, someone who's just good with communication. Now, some of the skills, what you know, what would be handy, uh, what you'd probably be doing is planning events. Uh, you need to be up to date with the technology and the new ships, 
create and manage the content of the Tactical uh, Star Citizens webpage. So that might be like events and stuff like that. Updating the um, company on new uh, staff members and promotions. So that, you know, when I say promotions, I mean like individuals that have been promoted to a new role. You know, congratulations so-and-so. You know, what I want to try and do here, guys, is just not make this... We don't, it doesn't have to be me just making these videos. Obviously, I can make all the videos and tell you about the ships. That still continues. But I think alongside that, there's you know, I, there's nothing stopping me making videos about the, the company as well and how the company's doing and inform you of new things that are happening in the company. But I'm going to need this support. So you get the idea. Um, they also need to have a basic design skills. They just need to... When I say design, they don't have to be a designer, but they've just got to have some sort of good eye for something that looks good. And finally, just have to be creative. What are the benefits for this person who takes this role? Now, there's lots of benefits, really. Well, firstly, you get to be in my videos. If that means anything to you or not, I don't know. But if you're someone who, you know, hasn't got a, a YouTube channel and you're just starting out, you know, it could be a good step for you to sort of, you know, get in your channel going or something. I'm not. I'm, what, one thing I would say, I would only, the only people I would have to ins exclude from this to make it fair are the people that I already talked to in TeamSpeak because otherwise it's going to be seen as I'm picking someone that you know is already existing already I know and I think that's slightly unfair so the only way I think I can make it fair is to exclude them and say look anyone that I physically don't know I think it makes it a lot fairer like that and you know I think at the end of the day we bring someone else into the group as well which is fantastic now there's there's two methods of payment here uh, well obviously you can obviously be in the in the videos Secondly, we'll pay you in-game currency. In-game currency or, or game cash, one or the other. Because I don't know the value of the currency yet, I don't know how much I'm going to pay you, but it'd be a good salary. And secondly, if, you, if you're if successful for a year, um, then what you get is you'll probably get like a ship or a package or, you know, pretty much, you know, what you want. With all, with all Within reason, within the budget, I would say. So there's some good incentives there. For this person really to step up and, and help me out. Now if I had this person now. It would make a significant. You know it would be a significant benefit for the company. To have someone helping me. Because I can't do it on my own guys. If, if I did. I would do it half heartedly. And if I did that. I don't like doing things half heartedly. And just you know doing it and it's not right. I'd rather have the support from you guys. I've had great support from all you Star Citizens people. Who've been watching all these videos in the first place. So, and I know you're all passionate about the same thing I am. So you're the best person, you you know, the best people to actually help. So, how do you actually apply for the position? Now, I think what I've got to do is put some sort of cut off, cut, cut off date. And I think I'll put the cut off probably, let's say, we'll give it a month from today. From today's date. From Let's say a month from the launch of the organization on the Star Citizens. That makes it, uh, you know, a good... A good bit of time for everyone to get the uh, pluck up the courage to apply. Look, I'm a friendly guy, guy, you know, chap. So all you got to do is just go to the website. You can apply for the branding position. There's a you can go, for, you know, apply to join a company. And then what I'll do is I'll get in contact with you. And what I'll probably do is I'll arrange a TeamSpeak, you know, interview if you want to call it that. And we'll have a bit of a chat and see how it's going. Now, I'm I'm going to be honest. I'm not really interested in taking on another YouTuber who's got loads and loads of subscribers. And I'll tell you why, because the essence of my channel has always been for... It's never been about making money for me. It's always been about having fun and enjoying the game and stuff like that. What I would like to do as well as actually bringing this person in is giving them an opportunity to start a channel and do something themselves at the same time. You know, I want to... I want. I would have loved when I started YouTube for someone to do this for me and to help me out. You know, because I could easily, you know, I've, I've had offers from other YouTubers, some big YouTubers, but I've turned them down. Not to be nasty, guys, and I, I've got total respect for them, you know, but it it actually be better for me and better for the other person if I've got someone who's totally new and help them. Because like I said, there was no one there helping me when I started my channel nearly two and a half years ago. And if someone would have helped me along the way to, to get me started would have been fantastic. So I'm seeing this is a great opportunity anyway, guys, for this person. And, they, you know, there's got to be a level, of, a slight level of commitment there for them as, you know, from them as well. I'm not expecting them to not help, if you know what I'm saying. You know, you've got to help me out. And otherwise, it's, it seems slightly, you know, slightly pointless. 
I'm looking forward to it. I think once once I get this person on board, you're going to see some fantastic stuff, guys. I've got some great ideas on what we're going to do, which is going to make you laugh, and I think you're really going to enjoy it. You know, and once we get this person on board, we can start organizing other other internal structures as well. Like, for example, there's going to be other people that we recruit along the way. Maybe someone like fleet manager, someone who deals with all the fleets and the ships. You know, we could have a tactical uh, tactical manager who does all the uh, attacking and warfare. We could have, you know, you get the idea. We could have different people taking different roles. And the organization within Star Citizens allows you to do that. Now, what else it also allows you to do? Let's say, for instance, I take on the new branding person. Fantastic. He starts. So he's the branding and uh, marketing person starts on one star. And as he progresses over the period of time, he gains more stars. So let's say, for instance, at the end of the year, he's got five stars, the highest rank in branding. Now, if someone else is recruited under him, and, and it's, it, they're also in marketing and branding, he will get one star. Thus, he, the person with the highest star will manage the people with the lower stars. And that follows through with all the other roles within the game. So I think that's a fantastic way to do it. You know, and if it gets to the point where, you know, the marketing guy and the branding guy says, look, I can't do it anymore, or guy or girl says, look, I can't do it anymore, you know, it's taking up a lot of my time, you know, fair enough, and then I'll do another video and we'll recruit someone else and get someone in that position. Now, this is only one position out of, I think there's going to be probably about four or five key positions, like proper positions, where you'll be, in, you, you'll be interacting in the videos, because I think if, we, if I did an update video, you have to be you know, there on the video telling telling the community what's happening in the marketing and branding part of it, what's happening in, in space, you know, what's happening in the fleet and so on. And we'll gather all that information and make a video that is actually gives you some really good information as an organization. So it's not just about, it's not about you joining, right, an organization and you being another number, another person within a, within a batch of people. It's about you being a part of something. It's about a bit, you being a part of an organization that tells you things and helps you out to, and, and gives you... The advantage of being in an organization is, is that we're working collectively. And if the, if the collective group are not talking to collectively and giving that information out so the players can actually benefit from it, it's sort of slightly pointless of having the organization in the, in the first place because you just exist as a number. I'm fully aware of that. And what I'm going to do and, and do my utmost best to do is make sure that all the information that we get from the company is given to you so you can use that to your advantage and also which i think is the key factor to give you the information to help you meet other people with inside the organization and team up with them and work with them you know and hire them because at the end of the day if we can build up a good enough company and you need an escort somewhere and you hire someone with inside the company they might do you, they're more likely to do your discount rate. <laughs> You're going to save money by using someone in the company. But we're only going to get there and, uh, and manage to do that by, you know, creating that communication. And maybe further on down the line, the fleet manager brings in statutory fees for escorts and stuff like that, you know, to help us all out. We do a fixed fee flat rate for all company members is X. Anyone outside the company is, you know, obviously more. You know, and so on and so on. And I think this is all the things that I would like to build on over the period of time. But I think, firstly, we need to get that branding and marketing first and first to support me and help me to start with. Once we get that, then I can start having discussions with them and then we can move on to getting someone else. So, I don't know what you're expecting for my Star Citizens video today, guys, but, you know, I'm passionate about the game as it is. And I think for me to take it to that next step, you know, I have to be totally honest with you and say, it, I can't do it on my own. If I did it on my own, all I could do is show you around a ship, talk about a ship and talk about Star Citizens. If you want me to move into the realms of having an organization, I'm going to do it properly. Um, and that is going to be communicating with you guys, letting you know what's going on in the organization, giving you good content, you know, and make, improving that content over the period of time. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, look, this is not a long video today, but this is just a sort of, you know, just to give you all the opportunity, hopefully, I'm hoping that people are going to apply for the position and this is not going to be a waste of video. <laughs> well, I hope so. I've, I know actually already there is people that would love the position, but they're people I already communicate with in TeamSpeak and I just thought that's not fair. If I picked them, it would be unfair on you guys, you know, the rest of the guys. So I have to exclude them. 
How am I going to deal with my the people that I already talked to? What part would they take in the organization? Well, maybe I would have to let you decide. Maybe that's the only fair way to do it. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, short video today. Um, to apply, simply go to uh, the Star Citizen's website, search Tactical Advance and apply for the marketing position. And then what I'll do is I'll get in contact with you and then we'll, we'll arrange a uh, team speak chat, have a bit of a chat with you and I'll get a feel for the sort of person you are and so on. And, and then we'll go from there. Um, so a month from yesterday, um, so you've got a little bit of time to go yet. The sooner the better. I mean, if we can close it, if I can, if we can, if we can close it within two weeks or a week, it'll be better for me because obviously, you know, I'm keen to, you know, get the conversation started and start planning now. But we'll see how it goes. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.